Today I'd like to talk about Rus toxicodendron, which is a homeopathic medicine made from all things poison ivy. But because it's homeopathic, that means it's been diluted and diluted, shaken and diluted many, many times. You don't get poison ivy from taking homeopathic Rus tox. Let that be understood. The strange thing is that homeopathic Rus toxicodendron is particularly useful in musculoskeletal problems such as sports injuries, falls, trauma of all sorts, and some arthritis. What you notice in a Roostox patient is they're worse at rest, so they're better from movement. These are two key elements of a Roos Tox patient. So if they have a bum knee, it means that if they sit for a long time, it starts to hurt more and they can't sit. They have to get up and move around. Or if it's an arthritis, which is a Roos Tox arthritis, all the joints affected are worse from sitting. The same thing goes on at night. They're worse from lying in bed without moving. So the Roos Tox patient is going to tell you that they spend the whole night tossing and turning. Why do they do it? Because they can't stand to be in one position too long, so they have to move, and they get momentary relief from turning over in bed. So that's why that you hear that they're tossing and turning all night. If they take a voyage, uh, a trip, say, for three hours in the car, they want to stop the car, get out and stretch every 45 to 60 minutes. So you'll find out that Roostox people with their musculoskeletal complaints are always stretching because they feel better from stretching. Remember, they're worse at rest and they're better from movement. Now it gets a little more complicated. Roostox people wake up in the morning feeling stiff and painful. And the first movement is, ex is especially painful. So they're worse from the initial movement. But after they take a hot shower, they're better from heat. And then they start to move, slowly the stiffness wears off, the pain diminishes, and they function pretty well. So they're better from continued move, movement or motion. And they're okay most of the day. At the end of the day, if they've had an active day physically, the symptoms come on again. So this is a very interesting triad of symptoms. They're worse at rest, worse from initial movement, better from continued movement, and worse from too much movement. So you're going to find this always with Roos Talks. Another thing, Roos Talks people are sensitive to cold, wet weather, and some of them can even sense the approach of a storm 24 hours in advance. So this will give you an idea. Any part of the body which has these kinds of symptoms will benefit from Roos Toxicodendron. Thank you.